Go. This is called the creepy pair of underwear. Creepy pair of underwear. <laughs> there we go. Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear, so creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy, they're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on? Asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door and that's when Jasper noticed the underwear glowed, a ghoulish, greenish glow. His butt's glowing. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow, but it didn't help. He could still see the ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of the laundry heifer, and then he fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them in the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared or anything, but he was done with creepy, scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework, and when he heard it, a scratchy, scraping sound coming from his dresser. He opened the dresser and they were back staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. You can't do this. Ooh, yeah, go do that. Go ahead and do it. Eek. Okay. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope with some stamps. He put the stamps all over it and it says, To China. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. When he opened the front door the next morning, they were there. And were those <gasps> chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China and it had brought back souvenirs. This is the best page because there's red tape on it. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors he didn't like using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. How come? Why are they gone for good? Because he cut them. He cut them all up. Yeah. What? Yeah. There you go. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. No. Nothing. I... Just plain white undies. Ah. He searched under his bed. He shook out his yeah. lampshades. Oh. Whew. There was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. Uh, I see what I agree. happened. He's going to comb his ears. I like that. <gasps> they were back. What's the matter with you? His mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached the creek hangar hill. 
Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom, that ghoulish, greenish glow. But not for long. Why? Because he just put him in there. Because what did he do then? He closed it. Yeah, he closed it with all the dirt he dug up. So he then he buried it. him. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Nothing. Just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. Off the light, not on. Uh, <gasps> it was so. Oh no! Oh no! That was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Okay, we got a problem here. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. He got a shovel. He went up to that hill and he started digging. The creepy underwear were a little muddy. They still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. Some puppies having a nightmare. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled, and so did his underwear because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. That's a lot. Yeah, look how happy the room is. And that's the end. Oh, wait. What? What? The creepy underwear. There it is. Creepy underwear. There you go.